Oh, hey, what's up? Yep, no makeup, bags under my eyes. I don't care, ask me if I give a shit. I don't normally film like this, but I had to just, I had to do it because this grilled cheese that I just made is absolutely epic. I'm gonna show you how I made it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alrighty, meow meows, here we go. I have some butter melting in the pan, getting ready for our onion jam extravaganza. Here I have a mix of some yellow onion, white onion, and purple onion. Just using up some bits and bobs that I had around the way. Getting them nice and ready for the caramelization. I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Trust me, it works. Um, I have here some thyme, about half a teaspoon of thyme, some fresh cracked pepper, and some Himalayan salt. The salt and sugar are going to play nicely together and become something absolutely freaking frack and delicious and help with the caramelization. As you can see here, boom! Look at how yummy and sexy the onions look. They are doing their thing, getting nice and sexy in the pan. And, oh, what's this? Our friend, our secret weapon, French onion soup mix. You know, I've never actually made French onion soup with that stuff before. I've always just made the dip. <laughs> anyway, go figure. So I have everything cooking down together because I, what I'm trying to do is make a French onion jam. Okay, yes, we're getting very fancy pans with this grilled cheese. Yeah, so there we go. Look, it's absorbed almost all the liquid. It's concentrated. And surprisingly, it's not too salty. You would think that it would be. It's not. It's sweet. It has just the right amount of salt. The flavors are on point. Look at that. It's so good. Concentrated French onion flavor. Yes, let's go. Okay, grilled cheese time. Meow. All right, so here I have some Gruyere cheese. You can use Swiss, you could use mozzarella, provolone, whatever freaking cheese you prefer, but you know, I'm keeping it kind of classic. My freaking grater is broken, so I had to use a vegetable peeler to shave the cheese, okay? Whatever, I just needed to get them thin and I didn't want to cut it. So here we have my tried and true. I put a little mayonnaise on, on that slice because it gets nice and crispy, trust me. Put mayonnaise side down, yes, yes, there we go. Oh, then we add the cheese, the Greer cheese, la la la. Then we add our onion jam, French onion jam, la la la, French onion. Look at that. Look at it. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be so good. You're not even going to believe it, how yummy this thing turned out. Indeed. Then we're going to add some more cheese, because why not? You only live once. La, la, la. More cheese, please. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to add the top with more freaking fracking mayo. This is a very decadent sandwich, y'all, because there's butter and mayonnaise, cheese, caramelized onions. I mean, this thing is not playing no games, okay? Because that's how I do. You already know. Okay, look. Look at how evenly golden brown and delicious that is because of that mayo. I'm telling you, meow. It's like you have to try it. Next time you do a grilled cheese, put a little bit of mayonnaise on that bread. And trust is a must. Yes. Look at it. Look at how sexy that is. Just frying away. Cheese is melting. Those flavors are coming together nicely. And of course, you know, I had to make a little dipping sauce, like a French dippity dip, because I didn't want all that flavor to go to waste, child. Uh-uh. And there we have it. I mean, you know, it's a French onion grilled cheese with a dip. Like, you dip in that sauce, and it's epic. Next level. I know I just could have made French onion soup and grilled cheese, but, you know, whatever. I wanted, I just wanted it this way. So there you go. Mystic Meals, Chef Nikki Meow. Make it. Meow.